boom body yo to the music boom 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 and welcome to the game yeah probably bad timing oh well welcome back to paper mario folks L uh, last time we got the hammer got goomba back to the village and defeated junior troopa and so on this time we're facing a couple new enemies well somewhat new the goomba brothers red goomba and blue goomba yeah originality for the loss Okay, Blue Goomba, 6 HP, 1 attack power, 0 defense. Red Goomba, 7 HP, 1, uh, one attack, 0 defense. Basically, these guys are just um, longer lasting Goombas, I suppose. It's very easy to beat these guys, just power jump them to the end. Yeah, these guys are big and bad, but they only do 1 point of damage. These guys ain't so tough. See, I already took down one of your guys. Boo hoo hoo. All right, one down, one to go. This guy has one more point, one more hit point than, or hard point than his little brother, but that can be easily taken care of. All right, you dare hit me? I'll show you. I'll eat myself a goom nut. Yep, there. That's the usefulness of the of the goom nut this early in the game. Now you can use the power jump again. That'll be the only time Goombari will attack. By the way. I'm gonna have a Mario finish it off epically with the power jump. All right, one more power jump and it's game over for Red. Five, four, three, two, one, bam! And that's it. The Goomba brothers are down. Hmm. For a semi, for a semi boss, those guys are pretty weak, and they go off crying like big babies. All right, we turn back. And we heal ourselves and continue on our way. Boing! Alright, now let's keep going. Ooh, a sign with a mushroom. Will we get another mushroom? No, it's a trap! <laughs> a moon walking Goomba. Okay, we took one point in damage. No big deal. We can defeat this next boss in two turns. That's right, two turns. Coming up is the Goomba King. Now I'm going to show you a special trick on how to beat this guy in just two turns. Yep, two turns flat. After we go to this cutscene. Big fortress, dark sky, ooh, I think we're facing a boss. In go the crying brothers, as they should be called now. And here come Mario and Goombario. I'm rhyming again. What am I, Father Goose? Oh no, I'm Father Hedgehog. Never mind. Okay, the ground shaking. Are we worried? Are we worried? Holy guacamole! It's the Goomba King! And he has a stash too. Okay, Goomba King! 10 HP, 1, uh, one to 2 attack power, and 0 defense. Now the Goomba brothers are back, but they only have 2 HP left. Yeah, small recovery. Okay, here's how you beat these guys in just in just two turns. First, the fire flower I saved in the last part. Here's the usefulness. Okay, Goomba Brothers already down. Now Goombario, hit the Goom Nut Tree, which is an option. Goomba King already already lower than half his HP left, and that's only first turn. Turn two, power jump, nine points of damage so far. One left, Goombario. Bam! Two turns, Goomba King, finito! And we have a level up! Every 100 star points, we get a level up. Yeah, got that for the RPG project. When you level up, you can increase either HP, FP, or BP. BP increases the amount of badges you can use. And this time, I decided to increase my FP. And in go the Coward Squad. <laughs> now we can... Supposedly, supposedly he's supposed to continue on our way. Oh, but as we listen in, they're whispering something. It turns out there's a switch outside which can clear the path. Which there wasn't supposed to be. Gee, I wonder if we can find it. Metal Gear Mario. <laughs> yeah, bad reference. Okay, there's a switch. Toin it on. And now Goomba King is telling us, is warning us about the switch, which we already pressed. 
He's finished. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mario's panicking. Whoa, every man for himself. Well, every plumber and Goombas. Does that even make sense? Now, how do you suppose Goomba King got up there? Boing. <laughs> like I said, you gotta love the cartoon stuff in Mario games. Very hilarious. Alright, now we can proceed and continue to tow it down. But before we do, go to this tree. Hammer time! Our third star piece. Alright, now we continue on our way to tow it down. I wonder where the Goomba Brothers went. Oh well, who knows who cares. Alright, before we go, one more secret in this area. Hit this block. A new block magically appears with a super shroom. Basically it's like a mushroom, only instead of restoring 5 HP, it restores 10. We continue on our way. Oh my. Is Kami Koopa spying on us? Hmm. Alright, let's continue this thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Bowser's castle again. And Kami Koopa is heading right there. Must have been quite a long trip. And of course, at the end of every chapter, or someone or other, we come to a cutscene. Uh, we come to a cutscene back at the castle. Just prepare for a lot of those. Now Bowser's concerned about if Mario can rescue the Star Spirits. And now we meet the ever-famous Koopa Brothers, the coolest, the cool dudes, <laughs> as they say. And even Bowser's not sure they can get the job done. Sheesh. A little bit underestimating your um, your own um, your own warriors there, King. Now this part I was kinda I kinda like. I don't know why, but just seeing how Bowser Bowser of all people is actually impressed. That is something I'm I'm surprised of. I mean I mean listen to this. See? Okay now this is funny. This is probably one of my favorite parts in this scene. Cooper Brothers. They're very tough, but not exact not exactly born on the right side of the tracks. Okay, now we are back. We now have the sleepy sheep. If it works, uh -uh, enemies fall asleep for a few turns. Hence the hence the term if. Okay, hit the tree, get a red spring. Now, how do you suppose the partners warp like that? I can never understand that. Now we have the hammer throw badge. The, basically, if you wear this, now your hammer can be used anywhere. You don't always have to hit land-based uh, land enemies or enemies in front of you. That can be very useful later on, if you decide to use it. Okay, we are finally back in Toad Town. Of course, Mario doesn't have time to, to talk to the uh, locals, the local yokels, or whatever. He has to get a shooting star summit. Wherever the heck that is. But first, hit the tree. Another star piece. Whoopee! No, wait. That's wrong. Yippee! 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 Barg! <laughs> Smash Tasm reference. Gotta love those. Wow. The place sure is a wreck after Bowser took, took the castle away. Hmm. What a pity. Ooh! What was that? What was that? Another one. Another one. It's a bombardment. Hoo wee. Well, we should like to find out what these stars are all about on the next part on part four of Let's Pay Paper Mario. See you there, star lovers. <laughs>